Port Birmingham here, back for another match review on the channel. Sorry, I did leave it a bit late um, for this one because I wanted the vlog to pick up some views. It was my first um, yeah vlog on the channel. I will be doing another vlog actually um, in the Norwich game on the 30th. I won't be able to make it for the Wigan game this Saturday because you know I can't really go to every game. Don't live that close to the stadium. But uh, yeah, I try to go as, uh, to as many games as I can. But the ones I can't. Normally, either I watch them on Blues TV, I'll try and get them on Sky if they are on, but yeah, Blues TV isn't the best, they don't show games to non-international subscribers for some reason most of the time, so it's a bit of a pain, but yeah, let's go, let's get straight into the game. So, formation for Blues, line-up formation, we went with Ruddy in goal, three centre-backs, Colin, Sanderson and Trusty, of course, Roberts did pick up an injury, four midfielders, Lucetta playing as a left wing back, Williams playing as a right wing back, Jordan James and George Hall starting in centre mid. In the cam position we had Bakuna and the two strikers of course Hogan and Troy Deeney playing against his former club. So let's get into the game. Yeah, it was a very, very good point for Blues. We defended really, really well at some point. Sanderson with a world class piece of defending, clearing the ball off the line. It was, it was literally, literally, I don't even know. It was so, so close to going in uh, after looking at their goal decision system on um, Twitter. It was so, so close. I don't know how he's kept that out, but he's slide tackled it off the line. I, I was sitting in the Tilton, so I was right behind it, and I, I thought it was going in, honestly. But Sanderson, world class piece of defending. That 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 um that could, that kind of defending wins games, in in some cases. But yeah, so there was that. And uh, Watford did miss a couple of chances. They had a free header in the box, put wide by I'm not sure who, but we had we had a, did have a scare in the box. You know, Watford were getting a lot of corners, a lot of dangerous set pieces. Um, we we did have a our fair share. We had a couple of set pieces. The ref didn't really go our way though, did he? We um we should have had a penalty. In the last minute of the game, Bakuna getting fouled in the box, but the referee standing right next to it and not giving the penalty. And we had an earlier penalty shout, which is, wasn't as much a penalty. Uh, I didn't really see that one, to be honest. So, yeah, uh, talking about some of our players, I think Williams played very well. He's, he was slide tackling, you know, he was his work rates were good. I think he played very well. And George Hall as well, his first uh, senior goal for Birmingham. And what a finish it was. I actually... I think it was Hogan who worked into the box and George Hall finished it off. That was a very good goal. Very, very good goal. For, um, I don't know if it's his... I don't think it is. Not, definitely not his debut. Maybe his league debut. Uh, definitely not his... Um, definitely not his debut. Uh, proper debut because I think he played in the cup for us a couple of times as well. But yeah, moving on. Watford did have uh, um, many good chances in the game. Uh, I think the Watford fans will be kicking themselves that they didn't do more and take the chances. But yeah, Deeney, Deeney did hit the crossbar as well. Yeah, I remember that. Deeney hit the crossbar. Sadly, it didn't go in. But yeah, let me know if you what you thought of the vlog down below in the um in the comment section. I thought I would take a point all day against Watford. I did predict it would be a point as well. We didn't get the goal scorer right. But what a draw for Birmingham. John Eustace is Birmingham City getting a well-deserved point at St Andrews. Solid, a very, very good point. Moving on to Wigan at the weekend. Uh, I'll be doing my match preview for that probably tomorrow. So let's see what um, let's see what the future holds of Birmingham. Can we take three points at St Andrews at home again um, on the weekend, uh, mid midday kickoff? of course. Can we get all three points? I might do a live watch on for you know, if we can get the game up. Um, let me know if you want that in the comment comments. But yeah, keep right on. Thanks for watching. Thank you.